Then I don't know if you can see like uh, it has some gold. It's here to bash anyone buying either this sleeve, or the Eden bag. But I'm just saying in terms of quality, this one is better. Yeah. guys and welcome back to linda's home and style and i want to introduce today's video so in today's video we are having an ambient haul yeah stick around and watch what we got like really exciting stuff we are also having a grocery haul like from the way from work i passed through can give me and got a few groceries so we want to clean them and uh, set them up in the fridge and i just want to show you an easy way of placing your veggies in the fridge without taking too much space and also without like crowding the fridge so guys welcome if it is your first time here thank you for being here please consider subscribing again and let's grow together and for the girlies who just keep it here and for the gentlemen who keep it here i want to say thank you for watching and uh, let's continue growing together so we'll start with this it's been written guys this is a buffet uh serving set and i really needed this because sometimes when i'm posting like the hot pots are usually not enough for my for my guests or for my visitors or even sometimes when you just want to like uh, make a nice meal at home uh it's usually not enough like uh, the hot pots have not been enough so no. actually i've i've placed it like this yeah like this and then the small ones here like that then this one's like that and then you just place your lid so Guys, this looks like this and then i forgot to say it's electric it uses uh, power so really really nice you don't need to put like that kamafuta thing yeah so this one you have more control because it's using electricity so i'll just place it aside and then guys the reason as to why i'm uh, shooting from the bedroom is that i have better lighting here so i've been spending all my hours differently so let's go to this one the first thing i got is this scent booster and it's an awakening one so uh huh what can i say i really love scent boosters by now if you're a fan of this channel you know that i really love scent boosters it's never so too late to thing. live what you say yeah. and i know i And we have uh, this kitchen uh, silicon utensils organization. So the reason as to why I got this one is uh, that this one comes from the UK. Though it's made, still made from China butter, this one is a better quality. And then it doesn't like heat up. Because uh, the other set that I got at Kamkunji, when I use it to cook, like uh, the plastic heats up. So it just has uh, spoons basically. 
more spoons yeah it's not like they can put this side one this one has more spoons yeah more more spoons and okay. even when it comes to even when i'm broken I replaced is uh, this scale <laughs> and uh, the story behind me replacing this scale is that the one I had in Nakuru when my house help was new like uh, she cleaned it she didn't know like it's a scale and it uses uh, like butter so she placed it in water and from there on it's not been working properly so I just had to replace it because I've missed baking so much I think uh, you guys can attest to that like nowadays I don't cook so much so with this, we like so with like this new scale. We are gonna make some uh, cakes, bread, and uh, everything. So guys, again, one thing I really love about uh, UK stuff is the packaging. Like vitizako hazita kujaka mazime aribika amakama zime So they really take uh, uh, too much care, like into packaging your stuff. So you can see it already has a battery. So what I'll just do is uh, plug the paper. And the machine is uh, ready to go and then for the machine uh, you can you can see it's coming on for the first time and then it has units it has uh, grams like it has a lot of different measuring scales eh? or measuring units not scales measuring units and uh, this is the bowl this is the bowl so the good thing is uh, I now have uh, two bowls so guys this is basically a steamer i needed a steamer to make uh, boiled eggs to make poached eggs because most of the time we are using the gas to prepare boiled eggs like every morning we have to make boiled eggs sometimes like every morning for the boys when they are going to school so i saw or i thought that uh, we are really wasting a lot of gas yeah so i just uh, decided to get uh, this small steamer and it boils um 16 eggs that ago and it's from von chef yeah von chef hope you can see von chef so yeah it can also make poached eggs and uh, this is the country for making your poached eggs i don't know what more things it can do but uh, this is uh it's a uh, manual i think i'll go through it later on just to see what it can make yeah it can make uh poached eggs it can make omelette mm -hmm. so something that um i've really wanted or i've really admired for so long i think i had this before uh this is a diffuser i had the one that i usually suckle like uh yeah it's little because we're talking uh, like the first ones but it didn't last like it didn't stay for long so <laughs> i decided let me save up and just buy like something that is really really good quality so that is why i got this one here and uh, i think nearly i put a flame i don't know but yeah we'll uh we'll try it soon enough we see so this one will go to the side of my bed because you guys know i have those nice nice oils so this one will go to the side of my bed just to to make the space look more pretty and also to just bring some nice sense in the bedroom so there's light here if you want the light to come here at the top there's a knob here for light or a, a small switch here for light then if you also want mist you can place mist here then you can place it from uh four hours two hours like it's really really nice it comes with uh with those settings so this one i don't throw booklets i'll just place the booklet here go through it um at my own free time and uh get to like know how it works first before i can use it so this is the charger it's charger and um uh, or it's power supply sort of adapter whichever and uh, this is where you measure your water very important finally guys we have this new cooking set or uh cooking pots eh? so guys the reason as why i got these cooking pots is that i gave my mom the red ones like the granite red ones yeah she really needed them 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why she wanted those ones, but I had to give her those ones and uh, buy these other ones. I'd rather do it the hard way. reason as to why i decided to get this pot is that um the edinburgh ones that i had like the red ones are not cooking for me like food properly i think these uh kind of pots like they are quite heavy and your food doesn't burn you just need to like have them because uh, i thought like uh when i had given my mom like uh this this set in uh maroon i thought uh, like i'll be using the edinburgh one but i couldn't bamba like cooking food in those pots like there is a lot of difference like when you're cooking in this pot like in this pot and when you're cooking in the edinburgh pots yeah not here to bash anyone buying either this or the edinburgh but i'm just saying in terms of quality this one is better and then i don't know if you can see like uh, it has some gold yeah, it's really, really pretty. It has some gold. I never thought that I could buy black pots. Never, never in my life. I never thought I would buy black pots. But uh, I think when you age, <laughs> you can always uh, be willing to try new stuff. Because I was like, do I buy like the same uh, maroon set? Or now what do I do? And I, I remember even asking my mom, mom, now that I've given you this, other set of pots uh when i'm buying new ones do i like uh, buy the same color or do i buy a different color so she wanted me to buy gray but for gray um uh, it didn't have the gold so i really had to get like the black because they have the gold shimmer in them and then guys please don't mind the dog they are misbehaving so these pots come in a set of uh, five pots and uh, five, uh, uh, what do you call it, five lids. Eh? And it's quite big guys, you can see it's quite big, so this one is the biggest. So this is everything that I've got in terms of groceries. I've already cleaned some. So first of all, you know, pineapple is my favorite fruit. So I had to get like two pineapples, then a watermelon. Yeah, and uh, some tomatoes. So I think these are the ones you're going to use tonight or today. Yeah, so that uh, they don't go to waste. Then here we have some green hohos. Yeah, here we have some colored hohos. And ukochini to corner cucumber. Uh, here we have lettuce. Lettuce is very nice when you want to make salad. So you can make cucumber, lettuce, tomato, and avocado salad. 
yeah here we have uh tomatoes but uh, they are not ripe so i'm just gonna place them aside he's easy to end up a fridge hapa we have dania and it's a lot of dania and i think his is always requires na go for 60 shillings and uh here we have some garlic and ginger he ekosangi kwetu garlic and ginger very important and then we have some onions and onions today the price was up there i don't want to even remember so from there we have some carrots and again carrots prices i think are going up na pia carrots ni staple in our house then of course my favorite vegetables mboga za kienyeji and today we have mrenda and kunde only that i didn't focus on buying a lot of uh, mboga za green because we still have some and we don't have space in the freezer so on this other side we have some uh, cabbage just two and uh, potatoes then i got some uh, beans and it's yellow beans and i think nyayo or yeah i don't know but i think nyayo so this is yellow beans this is nyayo then i also got some hibiscus just two yeah i really love hibiscus you can add cayenne pepper to your hibiscus in the morning with a little honey and you're good to go you don't need breakfast after that so that is that i'm gonna place my beans here then my hibiscus here of course and the first thing you want to uh, do when you get your groceries uh, arrange is everything to clean else them. in the fridge so i usually clean my sink first with water and uh, detergent later on i just block the drainage like uh, the place where water drains i just put a stopper there then i add some uh, vinegar to my water and clean my vegetables so i really start, i started with the hohos then i went on to my tomatoes and then for me sometimes it's like i'm usually in a hurry so i didn't let the like uh, the vegetables to like uh, dry off so nilizeka took the fridge containers and uh, placed them aside Pineapples, I usually clean them with a brush just to make sure like uh, the excess mud or soil has come out. And then for watermelon, it's just simple. You just wash and uh, place them aside or you can even wipe them down <laughs> if you have time. Yeah, and uh, now place them in the fridge. When it's dark and I'm alone, I hope you miss me when you hear the song. I hope the lyrics piss you off. remove the excess mud that usually comes with it like uh, with fresh carrots yeah and uh, then after that i just uh, put them in this clear paper bag or wrap i usually get this wrap from panda mat so you can get them at panda mat and then when you place your carrots like this and uh, tightly sealed or uh, close the bag and place in the fridge it can even stay for a month and I'm fly like an airplane I'm glad I finally wrote a song About how you miss me when I start crying Every time my song would play When I am driving home I'd be 
So guys, after placing everything in its rightful container or a storage, arrange them in the things like this. So guys, Kenya Power has done that thing and uh, the lights have gone. But I quickly want to share how I just uh, arranged the fridge like easy and uh, quick. So first of all, we have uh, the Dania. I just place it like this. But I'm planning to get a hub holder which you can uh, like you just place your Dania or your hubs visory without having this kind of messes. Yeah, and then they stay fresher for longer. So this side, I've placed the hohos here. And uh, the other one has tomatoes. Then we have eggs, the lettuce. Then here we have the cabbage. Yeah, here we have the cabbage and this is old cabbage. I'll cut the rest and place later. And here we have our carrots, of course. Then this side, we have fruit. So basically, that's an easy way of arranging your fridge without so many um what so many do eh? and then uh, on the other side of course kuna pombe waze me don't drink so kuna pombe waze yeah so that is that i wish the lights were there so that in get pop like uh in gonna share a good video of how you just simply organize your fridge like simple so for cereals i usually place them in these glass jars i think i'm trying to get rid of all plastic containers in the house i just want to remain with uh, glass and acrylic uh, storage containers so after that i just place this in the pantry i think in the next video it's gonna be a nice one we are going to arrange the pantry organize label our stuff and then uh, just see the outcome so guys again we are coming to the end of the video and as always i'm grateful for you being here for you sharing my content for you commenting i really don't take it for granted guys and i hope you're all keeping well i'm recovering from a bad cold like even doing a voiceover for this video today was a challenge but i'm grateful i'm hoping to feel better probably by next week so that i don't struggle so much on the, the upcoming pantry video so guys take care and i'll see you next time